Hey YouTubers, uh, gotta ask a question about uh, small tanks and shell dwellers. Uh, smallest size tank I would keep them in. I don't recommend this. Um, this was a trial type thing. We ran into the fish. Uh, we took a trip up to Richmond for one of our forum meetings for fish. Uh, we have a aquarium society, Central Virginia Aquarium Society. And we ran into these fish at the shop we were having a meeting at. Uh, Mark at Cichlid Solutions, thanks a bunch. Bunch of great fish, very good store. If you guys are ever in Richmond, check them out. Um, we purchased four of these and they ended up, we ended up with only three. We have no idea what happened to the fourth. We put four in the tank, never found a dead body, uh, never found a dried fish around. We've moved this tank since we set it up. Um, this tank just sits on top of the computer. Um, I mean, computer, there's a screen, 75, the rest of the tanks. But, um, these guys here, there's three of them in here, and we haven't had a problem. We're hoping for maybe uh, a male and a female. We set to 5.5. I think we got this set up at um, Chain Store PetSmart. It's got a little LED. The filter, it came with one of those inside Tetra type filters with a, you put in a terrarium type deal with a little carbon inserts. We ended up buying this slim and putting it on there a lot better. I modified the lid a little bit, it's a little dusty, but modified the lid, trimmed it out so it would fit in there. And it works pretty well. These guys don't seem to have a problem. They eat well, no nip fins or anything. Very pretty fish, look like little princesses. But these guys are from Lake Tanganyika. They are shell dwellers. Um, also heard as pumpkin seeds before, not too sure on that. Questions, comments, uh, click like, subscribe.